Good evening, everyone, from a hot and sticky San Siro. The 213th edition of the Madrid derby. The famous old trophy is heading to Madrid. Which side of the city is about to be decided? Now, it's the expected lineup for Real Madrid tonight. Ronaldo's fit despite the scary training on Monday. Pepe starts alongside Sergio Ramos in defence, with Rafa Varan out injured. Casemiro starts in midfield. Karim Benzema is fit after missing the semi-final second leg, with Gareth Bale still looking for his first Champions League goal of the season. It's a team that just about picks itself in big games these days. Juan Fran, Godin and Felipe Luis all start for the final two years ago. Stefan Savic gets the nod over Jose Maria Jimenez tonight. Fernandez, Coque and Gabi are tried and tested in midfield. The front three have all popped up with big goals en route to the final. Sal de Gers with the most spectacular in the first leg of the semi. Antoine Griezmann, though, is the player that Real fear the most. Who's uh, back under the microscope on a big stage tonight after his performance in the cup final? And slightly later than advertised, the 2016 Champions League final underway, the 213th Madrid derby, the famous all white of Real Madrid, the vivid red and white stripes for Atletico Madrid with the left foot here of Gareth Bale. And he's put it into a, a really good area. And it was a fantastic save by Oblak. He sent Ramos into the box, he scored from this kind of situation. In the previous final between these two, Kroos with the delivery, Bale helped it all, and it's gone in! And Sergio Ramos is claiming the Real Madrid goal, and just like he did two years ago, the Real Madrid captain scores! The fact that Real Madrid have scored the first goal will change the dynamic, and maybe just ever so slightly, Alter the initial game plan of Diego Simeone. Well, there's the half-time whistle. And it couldn't have gone better for Zinedine Zidane and Real Madrid. Sergio Ramos with the only goal of the first half. And it's back to the drawing board for Diego Simeone. Yeah, the man who's coming off is Augusto Fernandez. I think you said in the first half, and you certainly said to me at half-time that they didn't need him on the pitch in the current situation. And Yannick Carrasco who we've seen play uh, very effectively as an attacking player off the left side for Atletico Madrid in the Champions League has come on. Aldo to run in the second half, only ran into Gabi. Now Antoine Griezmann, Fernando Torres and Pepe was in there and Mark Klattenberg says penalty. And here is the response at the start of the second half for Atletico Madrid. Clumsy from Pepe and Mark Klattenberg made his mind up quickly. Now these two familiar foes in October, Kaylor Neva saved the penalty from Antoine Griezmann in the Madrid derby. Yellow card for the Real goalkeeper. Griezmann scored in the quarter-final and scored in the semi-final. He's been such a key man for Atletico en route to Milan tonight. Griezmann versus Navas, and he's hit the bar! What an opportunity wasted by Antoine Griezmann and Atletico Madrid. Now Modric, Benzema, Benzema's in here. Big save again from Oblak. It's the second time he's done it tonight. The change here, Owen, is going to be uh, Tony Kroos coming off and uh, Isco coming on. It's another one of the uncapped players that's been put into the provisional Spain squad for the Euros is going to be coming on, Lucas Vasquez. It's been exceptional this evening. There's Bale weaving his way through, and still Bale, and then Ronaldo, and Oblak was there to meet him, and then Vasquez misses his kick. Bale for Real Madrid, away by Savic. Here's Antoine Griezmann, and the game as open as it's been. Gabby lifts one forward here for Van Fran, it's dangerous! Deserve it. They've been exceptional in this second half. Modric didn't get there, and Carrasco did. And now the counter attacks on, and it was a challenge that Ramos knew he'd got to make. He knew he was going to get a yellow card. Had he not made that challenge, they might well have been in Atletico Madrid. Well, it's an incredibly dangerous tackle from Sergio Ramos. It's so high. 
Alex Torres, Casemiro was there, and Mark Clattenburg blows the full-time whistle for now. It's the 17th final to go to extra time, and it's on the way because it's one all after 90 minutes, with other chapters still to be written here in Milan. <coughs> Going to be Koke to take the corner. Flipped away by Bale, and then acrobatically steered towards goal by uh, Griezmann. Well, there's half-time in extra time. It was going to be Partey for Sal Miguez, but now it's going to be Lucas Hernandez for Felipe Luiz. What he has lost now, though, are two players who both scored in the shootout win against PSV in the last 16. Felipe Luiz and Koke were two of the penalty takers that night. Both of them scored. Now, Koke was actually the man who took the third one, so that's quite a significant loss with a potential penalty shootout looming here. And there is the full-time whistle at the end of extra time. And for the 11th time, the Champions League stroke European Cup final is going to a penalty shootout. Real Madrid will take the penalties at their end of the ground and they'll take the first one. Jan Oblak who saved Thomas Muller's penalty in the second leg of the semi-final against young Lucas Vasquez, who scores. Griezmann against Navas, and this time he gets the job done. How cool is that? And it's 2-1 to Real Madrid, and that's the third very well-taken penalty in the shootout so far. That is a brilliant penalty. Gabi Di Atletico captain against Kaylor Navas. 2-2. Brilliant penalty again, so confident. Here comes Bale. Very, very calmly done. Well, and he felt that as well. 3-2 to Real Madrid. Make it 3-3, and it's an exhibition so far in what you should do in a penalty shootout. 3-3 as it stands, 100% so far. And Sergio Ramos with another fantastically taken spot kick. Now, Juan Fran wasn't in the five selected by Simeone against PSV. He stepped in. Juan Fran against Navas, and there's the first mistake, and how significant will that be? Juan Fran hits the post, and it's advantage Real Madrid. Well, the situation and the destiny of the Champions League falls onto the shoulders of Real Madrid's greatest ever goal scorer, Ronaldo, to win the Champions League. And he does 